Here we have a crack coming down from the top of the windshield with the impact about two inches from the molding. It comes down and curves, goes over by the rear view mirror. This crack is about 17 inches long. It's definitely a job for the multi-head injector. The first step is to put a stop drill at the end of the crack. The goal is to drill about halfway down to the plastic. What you do is you drill a little bit and you make a light tap. If you drill too deep, you're not going to get the correct bullseye. If you drill too shallow and you tap too hard, you can cause the crack to go past your drill hole. So with practice, you'll get good at this. But I'm going to drill part way down and I'm going to give it a little tap. You can drill on low or you can drill on high. If you have a new bit, the bit drills faster. But with a little practice, you'll get a good feel for this drilling and tapping a stop at the end of the crack. Once you've drilled and you think you got the proper depth, we're going to give a little tap with your bullseye tapper. And see, we didn't get a bullseye, which means we're too shallow, so we're going to drill just a little bit more. It doesn't take much, just a little bit more, and sometimes you'll get the bullseye you wanted. Now we're going to give another nice little tap, and we still didn't get the bullseye we wanted, so we're going to drill a little bit more. The goal is to drill a little bit at a time and not get too deep, because then you won't get the bullseye. There we go, we got our bullseye. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we're going to load the multi-head injector. The multi-head injector needs to be loaded from the bottom. Remove the O-ring and then we're going to add six to eight drops of resin, depending on how long a crack you're going to repair. But usually six or eight drops is adequate for most cracks up to about 24 inches. Then you want to back the piston off if you need to add a little more. I put about four drops in the first time, realized I didn't have the piston backed off far enough. Okay, now we've got our eight drops approximately. Now we'll reinsert the O-ring. There isn't a right or wrong way to put the O-ring in. They'll go in either way. You kind of put it at an angle and then pop it in. You'll get good at this with practice. Easy it is to insert. Now we're going to load the second barrel on the multi-head injector the same way as we loaded the first barrel. Back your piston off. Oh, you were messing with it. We're going to add about eight drops of resin. Yeah, instead of cutting in the film with an insert or with a, a transition. Install your O-ring again. Insert it and cut, cut the rest of it aside. it okay and then we'll do the shot of me now we're going to add the suction cup lubricant you need to have a good amount of lubricant when you're doing these long cracks because you don't want your tool to stick part way down the crack if the tool sticks it'll cause you to air up the crack that you've already injected yeah that's fine so we're going to mount the tool you want to have the injector and the adjusting bolt backed off you slide up the crack keeping your injector right over the crack Put it out about a half inch past your bullseye stop. Turn both the injector and the adjusting bolt down till it touches the glass. And then go about another turn. Is the glare and everything good? We're going to put our extension arm yeah, on because we're having a little hard time reaching this crack since it's clear up in the middle. This is a patented extension arm that we've added to this tool. Now you turn up the pressure on your first barrel. The O-ring will lift up as you're getting pressure on the resin. Then we're turning the pressure up on the second barrel. Okay. Now the crack is tight on the tip, so we're going to have to flex the crack a little bit to open it up. You can either use a crack expander. I use my thumb. Sometimes I use just like a little wooden dowel. Just something to get it flexed open just enough that the resin will start to enter. And you can see the resin starting to go in. You can see I go down to the crack and I back up a little bit so I can see the resin going in. It's just the first two or three inches that are going to be tight. It, that depends a lot on the crack. The trick is to be able to flex the crack open just enough that the resin goes in, but not flex it too hard and cause the crack to spread past your stop point. If this does happen, you push too hard and it spreads, you just have to go out and put another stop on the crack. You will want to keep the crack out of the sun until you get good at it. Now a lot of this times I'll repair right out in the yeah, sun because I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing 
and I wanted you to be able to see on the video, if I started to shade this repair, you wouldn't be able to tell what's going on. But, uh, but if you're good enough, yeah, you can repair right out in the sun. We're just going to finish following the crack right up to the edge. Make sure you're getting all the resin in both barrels going in there. It's going to start leaking out because the crack is gappy at the edge. We run all the way up to the edge, and then I'm coming back to the impact point to leave the resin under pressure on it a little bit to make sure it feels good. Then you want to cure this crack in about 10 or 15 minutes in the sun. You want to make sure the crack is good and cured before you pull your tool off because you might flex the crack. Shutting doors can flex the crack. People getting in and out of the vehicle or moving around the vehicle can also flex the crack. So you want to make sure that the crack is not disturbed while you're injecting it and while you're waiting for it to cure under pressure. If you want to, you can use cure tabs and pit filler and that will help air getting in the crack if it does get flexed. You just lay down the pit filler and lay down tab next to tab next to tab. And that's a good precaution when you're new. Then we're going to clean up the extra grease along the crack. I use a razor blade just to make it easier. Then pull the tabs off. Now this is after we've let it cure for 15 minutes. And then just scrape straight down the crack with your razor blade. Just keep working your way down the crack all the way to the edge. If you don't have sunlight, you can use a cure lamp to cure. And in the evening on cloudy days, that's a really good idea when it comes to cracks. You want to make sure they're good and cured before you let the vehicle drive away. take some glass cleaner or we're going to fill the pit first. Sometimes the impact is fairly large where the rock started the crack so we're just going to fill that in with pit filler and a tab and let that cure. Now pit filler will cure in about 15 seconds to 30 seconds. It doesn't take long. Then you can pull the tab. Then you want to scrape straight on. If you scrape at an angle then uh, you'll gouge out what you already did. Clean it up with some glass cleaner inside and out. We have less than a quarter of 1% failure rate on these cracks. Now I'm going to trace with our scribe down the crack so you can see where it was. Now this crack was about six months old so it has a little dirt in it. Once I get to this part you'll see the dirt. The last six inches has some dirt so it shows up a little more. Couldn't really see most of it. I can't, 